Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. This is a everyday get ready with. What do I call this look? Do y'all struggle with titles on what to call these looks? Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am rocking my daily glam look that I wear for. Patrick Star's full fit. I don't know what to call it. This is this is just pretty much my daily glam look that I go to. Yes, okay. This is my go-to full coverage glam look. I know y'all are probably like, who the wears this every damn day? I do, okay? But if you follow me on Snapchat, I don't. <laughs> I don't wear this every day, but this is a look that I'm comfortable and confident in uh, to just be out the door and look presentable and look snatched. I love my skin. I have been working on my skin. I have been working on just getting a quick face out the door, and I feel like this is it. This is going to be my go-to daily glam look when I want to go to an event or a party. This look matches like literally every one of my outfits, sequins, tassels, fringe, color, casual. This is pretty much a go-to look for me. I do have one that is a little bit natural. I will show you guys that in a little bit, like literally four products out the door, but this is something that I'm confident in. But yeah, like I would wear this to events and I feel like if I, I go to an event or I want to look snatched, I'm not pressed for doing a full blown smoky eye, a cut crease, a halo eye, the whole nine top and bottom lashes this is just something that i look snatched cute smooth fresh and still painted for the back row like we gays like to say but if you guys want to see more videos like this comment down below what you guys want to see first of all happy 2019 comment down below what you guys want to see on my channel i would greatly 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 appreciate it because i feel like there are thousands of tutorials but what do you guys want to see more of from me let me know subscribe to this channel this is a chatty video so grab your food grab your friends grab your drinks breakfast lunch dinner midnight snack wherever you are hit the notification bell and let's just jump right into this video all right guys so this is my glam face right here and this one right here is my natural kind of face out the door i actually went to a birthday brunch this morning and you know birthday brunch is a little bit early brunch is like that time of day when i'm just waking up out of bed it's a little bit early for a full face and of course it was with a bunch of makeup friends and i didn't want to look crusty and dusty so i want to just simply talk through that because it is so quick i feel like if i did a soul tutorial on it i really wouldn't need it but yeah it's simple this is my everyday glam 2.0 and then this is my glam 1.0. So to start with this makeup, I like to get my Clinique moisturizer and rub it all over my face. I love it because the cartridge, uh, the blue cartridge for the Clinique ID is meant for textured, porous skin. I feel like my skin has really, really improved. So I'll put that on in the morning. And then right after, I will put on an eye cream. I use the Banana Bright Eye Cream by Ola Henriksen. And I'll put on some lip balm. And then I will just go into Studio Fix Powder. The Studio Fix Powder by MAC is amazing. It's a full coverage foundation. So I'll go ahead and I'll take a big brush, dust it on my face, guys. Super quick, super easy. And then for more coverage, I will go ahead and take my face and body blush by Real Techniques and just go ahead and swoop it out of the pan and pack it on for more coverage. And that is my foundation. So easy. Powder foundation. So easy. I'll go ahead and I'll take my Give Me Life bronzer and sculpt it on my cheeks. I will just take a little bit of blush, put on blush. I will curl my lashes, apply roller mascara by Benefit, and finish it off with a tinted lip balm, like a rosy color on the lips, and I'll be out the door. And this is the, the finished look, literally guys, it is four products, <laughs> foundation powder, bronzer, blush, mascara, and okay, maybe five, maybe like a lip, a lip product, but that is like the full face, and Literally, I feel like I look confident and cute and out the door and I don't wear my contacts when I'm trying to do that look out the door But if you want this snatch full coverage look then um, I'm gonna show you right now All right, kitty girls. Let's just jump into it. Let's pop in the contacts the contacts that I love are Desio Lighter gray. I get that question all the time Bird box <laughs> No <laughs> This is my bird box tutorial right here, okay? Contacts and eye drops. All right guys, contacts are in and we're about to slay the face. Now, this is my everyday get ready, kind of quick glam at Patrick Star Essential 
two-point, you know, makeup. I want to get my face done as fast as I can and still look BAF, so I start with my brows. I love the Benefit Brow Precisely, number four. 4.5 is more ashy. If you're like more of a dark brunette and you want that ashy tone, I've tried it. It's a little, it's, it's way too ashy, okay? We don't, we don't need no more ash, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take Precisely my brow pencil and just quickly fill in my brows. All right, y'all, I know the brows look crazy, but I just get them out of the way because they take me forever to fill in and look bold because, you know, I wear lashes and full coverage, and this is literally what I do if I want quick glam out the damn dough. Next, I'm gonna take my Light Studio Finish Palette by MAC. I'm just gonna mix in a bunch of these light colors here. I just don't like wasting this. I'm just gonna go ahead and dip in all these colors and conceal with this Morphe M432 brush. All right, guys, I... You know what I just noticed? I just drew a damn falcon on my face with concealer. <laughs> it looks like a bird. Follow your little beak. Oh my God, I am just like all the other kids on Instagram, face painting, okay. <laughs> I drew a damn falcon, y'all. Okay, I just take the excess concealer on my brush and just put it under my eyes because I can't be bothered. Cause you know, when I'm doing a face like this, I'm either going to a meeting or I'm doing something where I wanna look painted, but get ready quick. So next I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna blend out the concealer and the brush that I like to use is the E23 for Morphe and I'll take my medium palette and I'll take more of a skin tone color and I'll blend it out darker. That way it's not light all around. And again, you guys, this is a very, extra 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 read all about it type of look but th again this is like a face that i wear for like a special occasion without doing like the most on my eyes like a cut crease or a full smoky eye you get pretty much the basics of a patrick star face now a lot of these techniques can apply to all of you and if you guys just love watching makeup and you want to try just do it because literally makeup wipes off at the end of the day and it's just, you know, I, I get so many comments and questions like, oh my God, Patrick, I'm I'm older. I've, I don't know how to do it. I wish I could do makeup, but you try it. That's why there are thousands of tutorials here on YouTube. And I feel like 2019 should be your year. And about 2019, I think when it comes to resolutions in regards to like fashion and beauty, I always have like something that I want to work on. I'll set like a resolution for my fashion and my makeup. So like, I think 2017, I wanted to work color because being plus size, I was always wearing black. I'm always wearing black. But I think when it came to like events, like 2017, 2018, I really wanted to uh, step out of the fashion box and just, you know, wear things that I would never thought I, I could wear, whether it's texture, color, patterns, metallics, furs. And I feel like I did that. And now with makeup, um, I do the same thing. So for everyone watching out there and you love makeup and you love watching makeup, but you never had the balls to do so or I never had the courage, bitch, try it. Just do it. Don't be scared. Make it as a one size fits all. Just do it. All right, so really quick, I am taking the Kryolan TV paint stick, and this is really, really, really fast as you can see. I'm just gonna apply this everywhere, all over the face. And yes, it does look really orange. What I'm gonna do is take this big body blender and just blend this out on my face. This sponge blends it out so freaking fast. So for concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and take Shape tape in the color light neutral and apply this normally if i want like a full glam i will use cream and then this but this is pretty good to me and it does the job because y'all know i love it full 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 and i think i will have an updated like full coverage foundation routine for 2019 i, I feel like i do one like every year this is still pretty full coverage but y'all know i love the cake and love layering guys just to show you the body blender look at the body blender it's like my whole face and then look at the beauty blender. These are both wet, by the way. You can tell the difference. It's huge. It's so big. That's what she said. So y'all know the next step, just blend your concealer. So speaking of resolutions, I think my resolution to continue into the new year is to do better skincare and work on my skin just because I talk about this all the time on my channel. I've been using AHAs, I've been using moisturizers with chemical properties to help like retexturize my skin just because my skin has been through it and I'm so acne prone, I'm so oily. So I feel like locking down my skincare, you know, as we get older to help retexturize is really gonna help my makeup look better. I just want smooth skin. Uh, is that so much to ask for? 
Oh my gosh, also guys, it's the same old, same old. Oh my gosh, year after year, I do wanna get healthy. It's just, being healthy and losing weight is so hard. And I thought I was gonna be able to do it last year. And I know, you guys know, like, I think, what was holding me back was like my Mac collaboration because we shot so many campaigns last year. I knew I could do it, but I didn't want to look too different and lose some weight and look ch so chubby in my Christmas campaign when we shot it in January and lose a few. I know it's such an excuse, but that was my mentality when I was, you know, thinking about losing weight. And I think this year I really want to try. It's just so hard. If you guys have any. I don't know, words of encouragement or tips or tricks. And I know I should do it for myself. It's just like, I, I don't know. I just want to try and just be more healthy. And I think that's probably, you know, speaking of resolution, I think it's probably contradictory that I want to lose weight, but it's so hard. But then I want better skincare, maybe because I'm thick, that my diet is probably not aiding towards my skin. So maybe if I at least, oops, sorry. Maybe if I at least tried, my skin would get better. No, but really, if you guys have lost weight and have any tips, and literally, if you look at my watch history on YouTube, it's literally, literally all weight loss. <laughs> also, another thing that is different about my skincare routine is that I, look at this, I love the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. It is so freaking expensive. I like to take it and use it as a blender between my concealer and here. So you see how it's a little bit patchy up there? I like to take another like liquid foundation. Sometimes I'll take the Dior Air Flash and spray it like between here for a seamless transition. These two, I love. They're pricey, they're designer. This is like the level of extra that is completely unnecessary, but I love doing. I'll show you both techniques because they're just cute. And did you know that Estee Lauder Double Wear has a pump? Am I like so late to the party? Y'all are probably like, duh, dumb ass. But I'll just go ahead and take this and see, she's cute. And I'll do this like around the chin. You see, blended like patchy. Now on this side, it's the same thing. I just wanna show you guys both techniques that I like doing. Just because this is so micronized, it's beautiful by itself. But, you know, just because I want to look full coverage. I feel like the Dior is more smoothing. Yeah, and those are the, both the techniques. And see, I'm not going over the under eye area where I'm kind of canceling out the highlight. Cute. Beyonce was at Target in LA. Me. Beyonce goes to Target. <laughs> I like how my friends text me those things. <laughs> like, Beyonce was at Target today in LA. <laughs> Real friends. Let me just blend this right quick. What would you do if you saw Beyonce at Target? She bought three jumbo bottles, ibuprofen, and a pair of velvet leggings. Now, why are you gonna go and tell her business, okay? <laughs> One thing that I have been really loving is snatching my face with deep shape tape. If you are my skin tone, this will last me forever because I will never use this anywhere else on my face besides like my nose and maybe like my cheeks. But I have been getting, I know, I know, believe it or not, I have been getting into cream contouring, okay? And this is how I do it. It really makes a difference. Oh no. And if I'm in a rush, I'll just do the nose. And I'm blending up and down. You don't want to blend side to side because you'll just get the dark everywhere. So we want to create shadows. Now, if you want to look mega snatch and I feel like my contour spilled a little bit, I can take that same highlight concealer and bring it in just to pinch my nose. It's a mo. Kind of like an eraser. Guys, this makes such a difference. And the last thing you want is the focal point of your face to be blotchy and crazy and not cute. Now, if you can't get your hands on Patrick's powder, I do love the Banana Luxury Powder by Ben Nye. So for the sake of this tutorial, for my 2019 Everyday Makeup tutorial, I will go ahead and take Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder. And guys, there are knockoffs of this everywhere. I, I found out. Make sure you find a legit distributor of Ben Nye, like Nanny's or Nigel's or Camera Ready Cosmetics. The links will be down below, but I love this powder for under my eyes. Now, if you are watching and you've always wanted to try baking, do it. 2019, I'ma getcha. I was gonna say too, just like looking at like Twitter and social media and everything that happened last year, just everything is just such a shit show. Like 2018 was just so busy, so crazy, and there were so many things that happened last year. I would say like just knowing your worth and knowing your value and just like self love, self 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 acceptance. If you're watching, whether you do makeup or not, and you don't feel 
confident this is your year to embrace your flaws, embrace your imperfections, and just love yourself, you know? That was one thing that I had to learn early on because, you know, I was bullied and... When I tell you ever since it was like first grade, oh my God, people were calling me Chinese and I went to like all white school. People didn't really, there wasn't really an Asian. Let me finish baking because this is so annoying. Y'all be getting mad when I bake too long. I also bake my eyelids because my eyelids are greasy. All right guys, now on to eyes. I keep the eyes simple and clean because eyes take me the longest because I have kind of like hooded lids. So I like to make my eyes nice and open. Believe it or not, my favorite palette for this everyday look is uh, the Summer Palette Heat Stroke. And I like to take this color right here called Sandy Crotch. It is gorgeous. It's like a dusty tangerine color. Let's just bring this into the crease. I feel like it makes my gray contacts look way blue. Oh, and the brush that I'm using is the M511. I love just scooping this into the crease and looking down into a mirror. This makes my eyes just look nice and open and I feel like this palette complements everybody. Guys, look, that's just one color. So pretty. Now do the same on the other eye. Guys, and what's really good about this eye look, this brush is literally the whole look. Two brushes and my eyes be done. Next, I'm gonna take this chocolate color right here called Mabuhai on the Smith 247 brush and brush this just to define the crease, just a little bit. Oh my gosh, you know what's so funny about Smith Cosmetics? I remember uh, I was at Fame Expo when it first came to LA and oh my gosh, I remember, I honestly forgot who I was with, but this story just stood out to me that, you know, like brands uh, were just giving out product to influencers, you know, and Smith was, uh, I think just started, that's the first time I ever heard of Smith. Back then, I remember we got the bag and they gave us like every single brush. But I remember, I don't know, one of the one of the the friends that I was with, oh my god, actually got so nauseous and threw up in the Smith bag. And then I was like, oh my gosh, like should we go back and ask? So we ended up, um, or that person ended up uh, emailing uh, Smith and then they gave them new brushes. But that's just like one fond memory that sticks out to me about Smith. And I love, I love their brushes. Also 2019, if you're an influencer and you want to grow and like be in the industry and meet other people that are like-minded, that like love makeup, like go to a, a trade show event that's with makeup because guaranteed you will see brands there. You will meet brands face to face. You will talk to brands face to face. You will meet other influencers, other makeup artists. And I'll never forget when I went to a trade show and I met Crispy and Desi and I I went to Fame Expo with Jenny69 and Ronnie, and I'll just never forget, like, you know, it was almost like a leap of faith just going to LA. And I'll just never forget it, like, just going with Jenny, you know, and I made friends with, I, I became friends with her via Instagram, and we're still friends to this day. And she's a, an amazing business owner and person, and she's an amazing mom. I love her so much, and she's, she actually, when I first came to LA, she was the first person to pick me up in her little buggy. She worked at Sally's. I was freelancing at Mac. I think this was like 2014. I came to LA and she picked me up and she's so Latina. She was like, hey man, come on. I'll, I'll fucking pick you up. We're gonna have such a bomb time. And I remember her and I were, you know, I don't know what we were drinking. I think like we were drinking wine at Fame Expo at the bar. It's not like that at these events, but I think they were, at the time they had like a little, a little slant slant and oh also I remember at Fame Expo, when I walked in with Jenny on the second day, like I said, Crispy tapped me on the shoulder and Desi was with her and I turned around and I was like, oh my God, and I freaked out and I was just bowing to both of them because I looked up to them so much and I still do to this day. And then also when I was leaving that same day, um, I had bumped into Anastasia, I saw Norvina, and I was just this chubby boy with like an ugly skirt and ugly blouse and a turban on my head trying to look fierce and cute, just not knowing what personal style or fashion. I think I had personal style, it just wasn't refined. But um, also I had met this guy outside and I was so hungry when 
I left Fame Expo. He followed me to the restaurant. He was like, hey, what are you doing? I was like, I'm gonna go eat. He's like, okay, I'm gonna come with. And I was like, okay. And it ended up being Patrick Ta. And that was like when he started and, and he was also freelancing at Mac in Arizona. And I was freelancing in Orlando. So if you think about it, like meeting Crispy and Desi and Jenny69 and Patrick Ta before what we're doing, you know, it's just crazy to see Jenny with with her with her growth and Desi with her growth and Crispy with her growth. They they own homes, they've they've had collabs and they've done so much in their in their career. And also like Patrick Ta, like working on Gigi Hadid, Shay Mitchell, and all these celebrities is just amazing. So if it means anything to you to want to take a risk, look at all of us meeting at these trade shows. You never know who you can meet. I don't know, hopefully that resonates with you. Taking the leap of faith. I know y'all get so annoyed when I say this, but life opens up when you do. You. And that's what I like wore like my heart on my sleeve and that's what I remember just reminding myself every day Life opens up when you do life opens up when you do and here I was meeting all these people so 2019 do it bitch I talk so much. It's so annoying sometimes That's one thing that I'm self-conscious about is talking so much, but that's the beauty about my channel It's my channel Another thing that I wanted to do this year too is play more piano because a lot of you guys don't know I taught piano when I was in college to little kids and students and I had about six private students and that's how I made money to make more makeup and I was also freelancing. Are there any musicians up in the house? Are you actually gonna finish your makeup Patrick? Cause you're taking so long. I don't know where this brush is from, but I love it. It's, um, oh, <laughs> the Gypsy Shrine. Oh, it's it's that um company that has the glitter, those little stickers. I like this flat brush. I'm gonna go ahead and take it on Omagoi right there. And just pat this all over the lid. Nothing too crazy. There's something sweet and almost kind, but he was mean and he was coarse and unrefined. Name that song, bitch. But now he's dear and so unsure. I wonder why I didn't see it there before. True. Okay. I can never pronounce this damn word. Tart tartized. I think that's what it's called. Tartized. Tarte. Tartiest. Tartiest. Ugh, this is the double-ended. Tart you nest. This is the double-ended uh, eyeliner. I This is the brown one. I love this because I can smudge with this because there's a retractable pencil and the wing and it's brown. I have been obsessed with brown and I will be. And if you guys are beginners and you want daytime looks, this is it. Also, I love the Urban Decay Perversion and also I love the Fancy Fly liners too, but these are black, but I think for you know, most of the time I gravitate towards brown. Another favorite of mine is the Stila. You still get the definition without the drama. Cute. Next, just curling the lashes up to Jesus. And we're gonna take the roller lash mascara and coat my lashes. All right guys, I threw on some lashes. These are the lashes um, from my girlfriend, Jenny69. She has a brand called Batty B. These are in the newest style called Saucy. I love these so much. They're still wispy, they're still fluffy, and I love them so much. I'm gonna go ahead and take C6 by MAC, the Studio Fix powder, and we're gonna go ahead and knock off the baking powder and also provide a little bit more coverage. Also, looking back at my eyeshadow whenever I put the first color, the Sandy Crotch color from my summer palette, it looks so, so bold and pigmented as if it was like a full-blown smoky eye. But once I put on the lashes, it doesn't look so crazy. It gets toned down when the lashes are on. I'm gonna go ahead and take this pencil by MAC called Costa Riche and line right under the lash line. And this is an eye curl by MAC, and I love these so much because they're smudgy. So if your eye tends to water, I wouldn't recommend these, but if you want that smoky effect, eye curls by MAC are one of the best pencils ever made if you want that smudge effect. So now to contour my nose, I love this brush. This is the Urban Decay Iconic Eyeshadow E205 brush. It looks like this, it's amazing. And I'm taking my bronzer. I'm just gonna snatch it. Now to snatch, I'm gonna go ahead and take my highlighter. Baby, it's gold outside. And I'll also take some and put some right on my brow bone. Same brush from the beginning, I'm gonna take the E33 brush and I'm gonna go ahead and snatch the cheeks. My Makeup Forever uh, Pro Finish Powder in the color 128 broke, but I'm gonna go ahead and take some of it on my beauty blender and just kind of like highlight, just for that flawless cakey coverage that I love. 
Same blush from the beginning. I will take gingerly and literally just slap on so much blush. Kind of makes the face look like you put in a little bit of effort. <laughs> More than just a crease in a lid like I did. And then this is like a smoothing effect powder. This makes my skin look so airbrushed in person and on camera. This is the uh, flawless finish, airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder by Charlotte Tilbury. It's, there's not a lot of pigment, but it's just something in the formula that makes the skin look so, I'll just run this over pretty much the perimeter of my face and my pores it just looks so damn good. It is very pricey, but I just look more and more filtered the more I put on. 2019, I am highlighting. I'm gonna go ahead and take my highlighter that I use on my nose and apply some right here. Very little, nothing quicker. See, it's, it's, just, it's just enough, not too much. All right, 2019, I am still overlining my lips. I'm gonna go ahead and take Hover. This is my one of my favorite pencils. Guys, this lipstick Spank Me Santa is what I've been wearing all December and all January. It is literally like my lip color, but better. And a little bit of cream pie from my summer collection. Uh, just, this is like cute. Real quick spray, and I'm gonna change it. I'll be right back for the finished look. All right, everyone, this is the finished look. If you guys made it to this part in the video, the secret word is Pussycat. I think I'm gonna put a secret word at the end of my videos to see how many of y'all be watching my videos. The secret word is pussycat. So comment down below, pussy, pussycat. I don't you just love that word, pussycat. And um, yeah, if you guys made it in this video, thank you guys for joining me. I love you guys so much. And if you guys are so scared to wear makeup, don't be scared. Go ahead, pick up that brush, pick up that product, and just beat thy face that is going to be the theme for this year hashtag beat thy face thank you guys for joining me don't forget to subscribe i love you all so much and i will see you all in my next video bye just wanna dance want a simple romance nothing more nothing less from you just stay the night then we leave when it's like nothing wrong it's all right with you